Hello estimators, this is John with Estimator for SketchUp. Um, just trying out 2017, it's just been released and um, they have a new feature in there called Tables. And um, so I was just kind of playing around with what could be done with that. So um, still a lot more to learn, but I thought I'd quickly share this. So this is a little sample model of a little shed and I'm just going to select everything in here. I just want to know what these framing materials are. I want a list of them. So. Um, this is everything that's in there so if I go to run a report of course I can run an HTML report and there's all the products that are in there um, but I'm gonna actually save it as a CSV file and I'm just gonna name it this estimated report close out of that alright I'm gonna close estimator and then I'm gonna tell it to send it to layout All right, so in layout, I'm just going to choose a uh, letter portrait, simple blank file, and there's the uh, there's the SketchUp model. I'm just going to move it down a little bit on the page. All right, so now what I want to do is come into the insert, and I'm going to insert that CSV file, the estimator report that was created, and there it is. So you used to have to do that with uh, a copy and paste from Excel, so now you can put it right in there. But I don't like the looks of this thing, and I've got a lot of information in here that I don't need. So I c you can right-click on it, say Open with Table Editor, and it opens it up. Uh, in my case, it's opening in Excel. So I'm going to say I don't want the cost codes. I don't really want these categories. I don't want my vendor. In this case, I just want quantity. So I'm going to get rid of price, and I'm going to get rid of subtotal, and I'm just going to say Delete those. All right, and then um, I want the quantity to come before unit. So when you hold down shift and go to the side like that, you can swap those columns. And just for a little bit more cleaning up, I'm just going to do this all capital uh, on these headers here. So quantity and unit. All right, then I'm going to save this. Um, yes, I'm saving it as a CSV file. Closing it in Excel. Yes, I'm saving that. And I'm just going to keep it the same name. Yes, I want to replace it. I know about the format. So then it did a nice job of, of simplifying that. Um, and then further in scrapbooks, I've got a little, just a little quickie scrapbook that I did. Um, you know, like I want to put my logo in here so I could say throw that in there. Um, but you can. Um, I, I've got a, a sample table in here just from the looks of things. I'll just drag it out here so you can see um, that it's got a sort of a grade uh, header with um, uh, all bold top top row there. So um, when I use the uh, style of that to there, it gives me this nice little table. So I thought that was a pretty cool way of customizing what you want um, a report to fit into layout so that you could uh, put your quantities on there. So, Anyways, I'm sure there's other ways of doing it. I'm not the, the most proficient with layout, but um, I thought it was a pretty cool little tip. Thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.